Okay, so in this video, we're going to go through the steps involved in setting up RStudio. Uh, it offers some um, RStudio Cloud. Uh, it offers some um, advantages over the desktop application and we'll run through those. So the basic setup installation then is quite simple. Uh, let's go on to the RStudio Cloud uh, portal. Uh, if you've already an account, you just log in. But in our case, uh, we are setting up for the first time, so we have to sign up. And if you take a look at what's available, uh, you can see um, there are some limitations here, but we can have up to 15 projects. We get one gigabyte of RAM per project and we've up to one CPU per project, which is reasonably good, should be adequate for most um, uh, uh, courses in econometrics or in data analytics, uh, in statistical analysis. Uh, the, the key advantage here is um, once you save a project to the portal, it sits there and you can access it then remotely uh, away from your usual laptop or desktop. Uh, otherwise, just uh, we could use the desktop application and the desktop application is just an app that sits um, in uh, on your machine. So for instance, uh, this is a project uh, for um, financial uh, option valuation and, um, you know, to run it, I would just need to uh, ensure that I had the right library, so F options, and we would invoke that so it's available here. Um, and then we would call up the functions available in F options, and we could just run our project, right? And we can do the same in our studio, right? And we get some nice graphs. Okay, so not that important, but actually the type of estimations that we're running here. It's just that we can, this is typically the experience in the desktop and there's no uh, limitations in how much we can use this or what packages are available or the number of projects that we have. Um, you can work to your heart's content. But an advantage of using our Studio Cloud is that uh, we can access it remotely. So let's go back for a moment to um, our Studio Cloud. And uh, let's do the sign up. Okay, and in this instance, I'll use an old email address um, that I have uh, just for the sign up. I don't think I created an RStudio Cloud project before using this email address. So just for our purpose, RStudio um, at Gmail. Now you will have your own um, email address you need to create, uh, in fact, we have to sign up. Okay, so we have to put in a password. Okay. Um, so I create a password here and I have a combination of letters and numbers uh, that uh, we can put in and then give a name. and we'll give a surname right and that's basically it so let's sign up hopefully there's no conflicts with pre-existing um okay let's save that into bing or microsoft edge and let's create an account uh, let's go with brian burn um one And that looks fine. And you can see here now we have um, our RStudio Cloud. Um, next thing then we want to set up uh, a new project. Okay, and um, we'll give it a name. So we'll pause while that's uh, setting up. Okay, so that's set up. And if we want to load in some code, uh, we need to create a new R script. Now we've different options here and there are a lot of 
interesting options available inside uh, the R Studio environment. Um, but we're going to go basically with our uh, script here. And I'm going to go back to where I had um, um, my code previously. So we had code here. Let's just copy that and see if we can replicate the experience we had here and the output that we obtained and the results that we obtained in the console uh, with what's available in um, our Studio Cloud. Right. So we go back to um, our Studio Cloud and I will paste. Okay, so that goes in. Now, if I execute this, it won't run because we didn't enable the F options package. So if I try to run this, n nothing will happen. It'll make no sense, right? So let's let's just run. And, but we're not able to uh, execute the functions because the functions haven't been enabled. So the in this instance, to enable these functions, we needed a package and the package uh, that we were using was F options. F options, okay, so it's not in the base installation. So I have to install that package F options. Okay, and let's find that, install. So install, let's see here, that's retrieving package. Okay, so let's pause for a moment. Uh, we see install packages is what's been passed through here to the console. And the uh, we're unzipping uh, the package and it's been, uh, it's, installed. So let's let's pause while that's taking place. Now we know the installation is complete because um, the uh, stop sign has gone and last thing we need to do is to enable that uh, package available in R and it's loaded in and now when we execute when we run here uh, the R script, we should get output, right? And you can see we're loading in uh, parameter values that have been stored in the global environment. And as we run, we're plotting uh, graphs and everything looks fine. And the experience we have is consistent, completely consistent with the experience we had with the uh, desktop. Okay, so if we wanted to zoom here, we could, and we get some, you can see we get some nice graphs. Okay, so that, that's just the last thing I explained here. We should probably give this a name. So I'm going to call it CRR Tian uh, Project, B-A-W, B-A-W. And that's just the name then that we have. And then if we go into uh, our workspace, you can see that CR Tian and BAW is available there. So if I log in with the same email address and password, I now have access to the work that I've done. And that's one of the, the main benefits. The major limitation here would be um, when using our studio uh, cloud, uh, you have only 15 projects you can work with, right? Uh, so that does impose a limitation. Uh, one gigabyte, gigabyte of RAM and one CPU. Um, but it's free and it's, uh, uh, because it's available externally from away from your usual computing resources, uh, it certainly merits uh, some attention.